Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. I'm really glad that you could join me today for Waffle Wednesday. Yay! Stick with me. Don't tell Nick I was on it. Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Got some posting and uh, the lovely Stephen sent me this in the post. Happy days. 86 or is it 8 times 6? I think it's 8 times 6. Little t-shirt. Thanks very much mate, but I'm not too sure if this will fit me. But I appreciate it. So Stephen sent down his sticker. So this is actually a sticker, not a t-shirt. Um, it's pretty cool and uh, sent me down this to stick on my wall it will go up here somewhere Stephen but not just yet because I've got no room especially for a t-shirt but 8 times 6 workshop jobs are good and thanks Stephen mate and he also sent down this little guy cheers mate so what's been happening? Um, we are still making good progress on Makers Central and I uh, hope you're not getting bored of it yet. <laughs> I won't go on too much about it, but um, I just want to touch base on uh, some of the things that we are uh, up to. Um, but I want to clear up a few things because there has been a few emails backwards and forwards with a few different people. Um, and uh, I wanted to kind of clear up the fact that um, this is not just a woodworking, wood turning show. Although, yes, it is at the moment, it seems to be heavily geared towards wood turning and woodworking. And that probably comes because obviously from my channel and obviously a lot of the makers that I know um, are, are wood turners and they're obviously going to come along. Um, so it is definitely heavily geared towards wood turning. However, it's such a big place and it's going to be such a big show that we're gonna have all sorts of makers there. So I kinda just wanted to clear that one up. Which brings me on to the next attraction that we've got booked in for you guys to come and see and interact with is 3D Parrot. So, this is an amazing, amazing thing to see and experience. I saw this, uh, contraption human 3d printer so this thing this contraption basically prints human beings so this is a 3d printer a pretty big one and you can basically stand inside the printer and it will scan you and print you <laughs> this is amazing absolutely amazing i saw this a contraption this printer uh, another show I went to a little while ago and I contacted the guys and they said yeah we'll be up for coming which is absolutely fantastic news so we really can't wait to get them there we're going to be giving away a couple of these 3D printing statues this, this printer actually prints you so you stand in the middle of it and it will print you um, you can't pick up the statue on the day because obviously it takes quite a while but the statues can be sent to you in the post. It's pretty awesome. That's going to be one really great attraction that we're going to have at the show for you. And these guys have built this machine. It is absolutely unreal. So, um, that's going to be added to the website pretty soon. So, check out some more details about the 3D printing or the 3D parrot coming soon to the website. I'm pleased to say that we're almost finished with the website. There's still some stuff to be added. However, most of the things are up now. The exhibitors page is up. The tickets are up. The what to do is up. Um, what to see. The YouTube makers section's up. The sponsor page is up. Loads of stuff on there. We're going to keep on adding attractions. So we're definitely going to have this show heavily geared towards attractions and things for you guys to see and do. 
not just about you coming and meeting a few YouTube makers, which is great. I also want to, to, to let you know that this show is, is about you guys coming and about attracting you into making. And because it's quite a big passion of mine that I want people to, to, to get into making and start liking making, uh, we're gonna have lots of things going on there that kind of like that, that you're gonna really enjoy watching and uh, getting involved in. So there's gonna be a big mix of all sorts of stuff going on there. The 3D, we're gonna have 3D printers there, we're gonna have some robotics um, stuff there, robotics makers there, we're gonna have metal workers, makers there, De obviously wood makers there, but again, all sorts of different other makers. And also, um, I wanted to also clear up the fact that you don't need to be making anything to come. You can just come. If you're interested in making, then come along. You know, you don't have to be a YouTube maker. It's not all about YouTube at all. It's just about YouTube because I'm on YouTube. But if you're on Facebook, great. If you've got a website, great. If you don't, doesn't matter. Just want to clear that a little bit up because there has been a little bit of confusion about what kind of type of show is it? Is it just all wood turning? Um, no, it's a mixed bag of all sorts of making stuff. So I've got a few more makers to announce quickly for you. And so we've got coming down from Ireland. I think there's a big bunch coming down from Ireland. And I've been contacted by a guy up in Ireland that um, works at the Shady Workshop. Actually, I think it says the Shades Workshop. So he's coming. Cheers mate, uh, thanks for letting us know that you're coming down, really appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you there. Uh, we've got another one, and I've no idea how to say this, the Miggin, or is it, you lose the G, the, the Mehen, the Mehen Workshop. A guy called Sean contacted me and said he's coming down, he makes some really cool things, he's going to be at Maker Central too. Uh, thanks very much for letting us know Sean, appreciate that, and again, if you guys can shout out to all of your fans as well that you're coming down to this show, that obviously is a big help for us and everyone else because the more people that can come, the bigger and better this show will become. Um, also got a lovely chap who contacted me, a guy called Matt Esley. Is it Esley? Matt's making some really cool things on his channel. Uh, check him out. Matt's coming. He's really looking forward to the show and, um, and coming to see all the other makers and just being involved really. So uh, we'll add him to the website along with all the other makers. The last maker that's coming is a lovely chap called Mitch Peacock. Uh, here's his channel. If you want to check him out and all the other makers, all the links for those guys uh, and girls will be in the description below. And thanks Mitch for letting us know that you're coming to the show. I really appreciate it. So, with regards to makers coming, if you're coming and you're a maker and you want me to shout you out, please just send me an email or a message and let me know that you're coming. Don't worry if you haven't got a YouTube channel, there's tons and tons of people that make out there that don't have YouTube. It's not about that. It's just because I'm on YouTube that I've just kind of called it YouTube Makers, that's all. Um, and I apologize if uh, that's put anyone off that's not on YouTube. I've not intended to put anyone off at all. My whole intention for this show is to get all makers together and have a one massive big Makers Fest, that's it. It's just supposed to be a really great thing for everybody. So please don't get me wrong, not about YouTube. YouTube's great, obviously if you're on it, uh, and a lot of YouTube makers love uh, using YouTube just to be able to show others, you know, uh, how to make and just give you some ideas, hints and tips and things like that. So anyone's invited, basically. I've had a little bit more posting, so I just thought I'd tell you, uh, just thought I'd show you that. Next is uh, from a guy called Paul. Now Paul's, Paul's followed my channel for a while and uh, he actually was one of the winners actually of a hamper that I did. And uh, he's just managed to get himself a sticker. Guess where he's from? Red Dragonland, Wales. Um, Welsh Wood Hut. Thanks Paul for sending that down. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll get you up on the wall as well, mate. Hope you're well and uh, hope the workshop's coming on. And lastly, another bit of post uh, from uh, from Handy Annie's. Now that's a tiny sticker, so I just might be able to fit you up on the wall now. So if you've got a small sticker, it's always quite handy because I could squeeze a little space in there for you. Annie sent this down. Thanks very much for creating such entertaining videos. Well, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much. She really enjoys following. 
Cool, thanks Annie. I appreciate you sending the sticker down. Let's see if we can find a spot for you. Um, there. How's that? Look at that. Fits perfectly. Handy Annie's Handmade. Thanks. Thanks very much for your stickers, guys and girls. I really appreciate it. The mailing box is below if you want to send me your sticker um, or anything, really, you want to send me. And don't worry, guys. For those of you that haven't had your sticker up on my wall yet, uh, I will get it up. Um, and just means you're going to get another shout out when I do. So I don't know if you saw, but last week's project was my grass pen or pencil. And uh, there was a few questions surrounding the fact that whether or not it was going to stay green or it was going to go brown. Um, this has been in here now for um, nearly two weeks because I made it a little while ago and it still looks fairly green in there. I think basically once something is cast in resin, it kind of preserves that whatever it is. It doesn't really decay in any way once it's been cast in resin. Now all you resin experts may well have a different opinion on that. If you have, please let me know. Um, but so far, so good. Uh, my M&M bowl that I made, that still, although it has bubbles in it, you know, the, the, the chocolate inside it still seems to look okay. Um, and a few of the other things that I've cast in resin still look okay as well. So that looks all right still, still fairly green, and still looks fairly healthy, it hasn't gone brown or black. Um, so uh, I, think, uh, I think it's safe to say that if you cast something in resin, it's gonna be good for life. Ah, one thing I have forgot to tell you is our prize draw that we've got organized for you at the show. What we're doing is we're gonna hold a prize draw uh, at, the, at the show. Um, we've got things like pressure pots, because I know that's quite a big thing that everyone really likes and loves. Pressure pots, we're gonna have some uh, tools in there. We're gonna have uh, some hampers. We're gonna have um, some products, things that people have made uh, for you. So there'll be a, probably a couple of pencil bowls maybe a pencil pot in there from me and obviously other makers are going to be making some stuff as well and bringing that down to the show and we're also going to be using that as a prize draw giveaway we've got a couple of the 3d uh, printing uh, statues for you it's going to be uh, probably a lathe or two in there there'll probably be some mini band saws in there um, we're going to start getting lots and lots of things and buying these things to add into the prize draw over the weekend so I just wanted you to know that your chances of getting one of these things is pretty good. You know what I mean? Much better than the lottery. So um, you'll start to see a new page come up on the website. It will be prize draw. And then we'll be adding stuff as people, um, as time goes along. I'll we'll be buying loads of things. And you'll see these things added, being added to the website as the months go on. Um, and again, you've got a chance to, to definitely be taking home some of this stuff. We'll have some bigger things in there, some medium things and some small things so you can walk away with those as well. So, um, that's it. Um, please head on over to the Maker Central website if you haven't done already to pick up your ticket for the show. We've still got early bird tickets up there but there's not that many left. We've got a certain amount of early birds and obviously um, over the next month or so we'll probably go on to the normal amount but there's not much difference to be fair. So, thanks very much guys for joining me on the channel today. As I say, uh, stay tuned for my project on Friday. Hopefully you'll like it. Take care guys, see you soon. Oh, and if you're wondering if Nick is a bit weird, he is really, really weird. But everyone's got to be a bit weird, ain't they? Right? I'm off. See ya.